Mom, I'm home. Mom? She must be inside. Mom, what are you doing? I thought you'd never move on from Dad. Oh, Hope, this is just a friend. Acousticouche, this is Hope. Hope Acousticouche. Oh, I've met you before. Nice to see you again. Yeah, like it's nice to see you. You were the one who was trying to get a date with Master Nia. Is that true? Well, yes, that is true. But I only did that because I was lonely, but now I have you. I'm so tired of this! Hope, is something wrong? I don't want to talk about it. Hey, I'm sorry I alarmed you. I just didn't want to dwell in the past because that's just what Kai would have done. And it makes me sad when I see you and your brother. I just see how much you're like him. And I threw myself into this relationship because I thought it would help me. But all it's done is put this creep at our house. It's okay, Mom. No one's perfect. That reminds me of a story. It's about your great-grandparents that I heard in the Elemental Master's Dojo. My great-grandparents? It all started back when the Elementals were fighting the Time Twins. A long time ago when my grandparents were alive, the Elementals were fighting the Time Twins. Two brothers that were born with the power of time. What kind of time powers? Well, there were four abilities of time. To speed up, to slow down, to stop, and reverse time. Those brothers took advantage of that power and turned against the other elementals. So your great-grandparents were sent on a mission to stop them. Their names were Bishop and Azalea. Wait, you mean the Bishop and Azalea that were killed during the war of manipulation? Yes, but I'm getting to that part. So their mission was to capture the Time Twins and bring them back for questioning, but that did not go as planned. They ended up letting the Time Twins escape into the vortex that Wu and Garmanon had provided. One of the Time Twins was forced to live in the Vortex, never aging, and the other to wait until 2017. 2017? That was like, almost 20 years ago! Well, that was in the prime of my age. Now back to the story. So, the Elementals learned that one of the Time Twins was in the past, so Bishop and Azalea were sent to go capture him. But they lost in the fight, and he got away. So, the Elementals told them to go to the future and wait till a certain date to then attack the Time Twins. Why did they have to wait till a certain date? Well, they calculated that on that day the Vortex would fail and the other Time Twin would escape. They failed in doing so, though, and Azalea got captured. So Bishop needed the help of the ninja. As a few of the ninja were just about to attack the Vermilion, Bishop and the rest of them agreed to team up to get his friend back. They all stormed over to the Time Twins' base to take back Wu and Azalea. In the end, they had to sacrifice themselves in the Time Vortex, which sent them into a temporal loop. Bishop was beat up and got sent to somewhere in Ninjago with the Golden Weapons following him. Azalea was sent to a different realm called the Onian Dragon Realm. After a lot of fighting bad guys, four of the ninja were sent there and found Azalea. They went back to Ninjago and Bishop, after being evil for a while, went back to the ninja. Bishop and Azalea eventually moved into the Elemental Dojo. But for some reason, Bishop had different intentions. He started sending the other elementals on fake missions and then have different criminals ambush them. He even tried to steal the Oni mask from Borg Museum. Eventually, Azalea found out and told the others. They all decided that he needed to atone for his crimes. When the time came, Azalea broke him out of prison and took him to the battlefield of the War of Manipulation. Azalea and Bishop took the golden weapons and sacrificed themselves to take out the Stone Army. They finally fulfilled their mission as the Master of Amber in Samurai X. The End Man, that was a long story. Well, thanks, Mom. I love you, Mom. Do you ever feel like you're being watched? Like, I feel like we're a really low-budget YouTube series created by a guy in his bedroom. No, I've never thought of that ever. That was really specific, though. I know, it just came to me like I was supposed to say it or something. We made it back. Hey, 
guys, thank you so much for watching Ninjago Legacy Season 6 Chapter 1 Episode 15 Family Ties. Um, I know guys this took a long time to make. Um I really didn't have much motivation over summer and now I'm back in school. Um I'm getting in the swing of thing getting into the swing of things and decided to start with it again. So, um yeah, this episode um was fun to make. I don't know what else to say really. I kinda forgot what I'm supposed to say. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. Um uh yeah. I love you guys. I'm glad that you all have stuck with me. Uh yeah. That's basically it for the video, I guess. Uh I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.